Does your pet deserve some variety in its diet? You see, it could help with animal allergies. Mary Lucy takes us on a nutrition journey in today's Long Island Naturally. Go fetch. A few years ago, 13-year-old Thunder stopped playing fetch and started vomiting two to three times a day. We did several tests on him. Uh, nothing came back conclusive. One of the vets Joanne St. George consulted said Thunder had a digestive disease, but none of the experts recommended she change his diet. Still, Joanne, a veterinary assistant, started feeding Thunder organic human-grade food. Using trial and error, she discovered her dog was allergic to both gluten and a common food additive known as carrageenan. It's going to be a little bit of pinch. Blood testing is the only way to be sure, says Dr. Michael Selmer. While Dr. Selmer did not treat Thunder, he says more pets than ever are suffering with food allergies. Unfortunately, many dogs are not getting the highest quality food items that they could be getting. He was itching a lot around his neck and he was losing hair, which was the big thing. Dr. Selmer says many pets are sensitive to grains, although some aren't. Walter, for one, is sensitive to gluten, and he also can't have beef or turkey. Dr. Selmer says just like with people, food can be our medicine or a slow-acting poison. If you're feeding your dog a dry kibble food, it would be um, analogous to um, you feeding yourself or your child a breakfast cereal three times a day. Joanne's glad she followed her instincts. Thunder's problems are all gone, and he's acting like his old self again. In Huntington, I'm Mary Musi, News 12, Long Island. For more on this story, you can go to news12.com and click on numbers and links.